worked more, I started putting two and two together. And when he went to work, I went to work. And I went and got on the ground and started searching. Now, y'all, that was Latasha Simpson speaking about her husband here, Derek Esther. He was arrested because he put this tracking device on her car and she found it. In the state of Texas where they're at, it is illegal to put a tracking device on someone's vehicle without their knowledge, y'all. It's considered to be part of a stalking law. Now, thankfully, she's putting separation in place and getting a restraining order because when she confronted him, it did turn physically violent, okay? So sad for her, but I'm glad she found out out about this. Now, I want to let you know other states that absolutely do not allow you to put a tracking device on the car without someone's knowledge. Delaware, Illinois, Michigan, Oregon, Rhode Island, Tennessee, Utah, and Wisconsin. Other states have pro uh, other states prohibit it in other ways, so you have to look up your particular state. But y'all, just leave them alone if you got to put a tracking Why? device on their like car. 20 bucks, folks. Now, the purpose of a vehicle tracking device via GPS, just like this one, is to keep an eye on people and possessions that mean the most to you. But a device intended to provide peace of mind did the total opposite for one woman. When Latasha Simpson is behind the wheel of her Cadillac, she's in charge of her destination. She recently learned someone else was aware of every mile these tires took on. It's an uneasy feeling. It's uneasy. And if, to me, it's like a violation. Derek Esther, her husband of nearly two years, is charged with unlawful installation of a tracking device, a misdemeanor. He was arrested after Latasha discovered this Optimus 2.0 GPS tracking device attached to her own vehicle. I got down on the ground and I slid under here and it was under this bumper on the inside. She says the couple originally purchased the equipment to track this slingshot they rented to customers as recently as last year. So that just in case if the person didn't bring it back, we knew exactly where to go and get it. So that was the purpose of purchasing the tracker. You can go just pretty much anywhere on the web and purchase a tracker. It's just that simple. But a device she says was originally intended for her protection was used to violate her privacy. Oh, wow. Like, you'd go to this extent to know where I'm at? Like, come on. Just because I don't answer the phone when you want me to answer the phone, that's not necessary. Now I feel like I have to look over my back or I have to check my car and all this kind of stuff just to go to the store. Still shaken, especially from the physical violence she says took place when she confronted Derek after discovering the tracker, Latasha is grateful it did not escalate more. And she shares this warning for others. Pay attention listen to what the person is saying because sooner or later they're going to tell you what they're doing and what their intentions are and if the situation is getting like too violent too too heated get out leave don't worry about your possessions don't worry about the material stuff that can be replaced but your life you only have one so just pay attention latasha tells us she started the process of separating from her husband and plans to file a restraining order Derek is due in court next week. I'm Adam Winkler, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.